don't know if you can hear that noise, but it's all happening outside the house today. I shall show you. And Hudson obviously wants to look at it. They're clearing the whole <laughs> river. All the trees, the whole river. See the men with their big tools. Lots of noise. So everything is being cut apart from the walnut trees. Uh huh. We're going to have a much nicer view oh, yeah, of all this gone. Sure. Anyway, we'll show you a, an after shot. And hopefully, I get to keep some of the the willow that they're cutting. Down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi, we're Emily, Lee and Hudson. We're from the UK and after some years living abroad in Thailand and Gozo where we got married, we wanted to be closer to nature with our own land for self-sufficiency. So we followed our dream and moved to rural Bulgaria in 2019 in a bid to become debt and stress free and property owners. Follow us on our journey as we renovate our future home, showcase Bulgarian village life and share some useful tips as we learn along the way. We've got big plans on a tiny budget. Welcome to our derelict dream. I want to try and film really discreetly because the guys that were clearing in the bridge, they uh fell, this digger that you see getting pulled out, it fell halfway down the guy, luckily this tree was still standing because the whole digger was on its side. If that tree wasn't there to protect it, that man and that digger would have gone into that river. So Lee's down there getting in on the action but they've had to get some kind of truck to pull it out of the riverbed. So yeah, all happening here. Good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Uh, let's see what we're getting up to. So firstly, as you can probably see by what I'm wearing, the weather has turned. I mean, we still have blue skies and sun and everything else. The days are kind of warm still, but at night it's really been dropping. So where we normally sit outside, we're obviously hoping for the windows to be installed by now and they're not so we've got to change plans yet again so because it's getting cold i am going to purchase another wood burner today small one cheap one just so we can have in the lounge and the room that emily uses as an office until the windows arrive and then we can move that into the other room and heat the whole space but until that point because the windows aren't coming until I think they'll be ready on the 12th and it might take me a, a day maybe just to get everything installed so uh, yeah we, we need something up until that point so that's what we're going to be doing today and as you can see by all of the sawdust on the floor I got hold of a load of willow that I've been processing so yeah you can see here we process some of this this is not going to be ready for this year maybe not even next year it'll be for the year after but I've kept some very choice pieces here this is actually plum you can see the wonderful colors on this so this is going to be turned into slabs this here is mulberry which i'm going to turn into slabs some more plum that's actually a nice burl there so i can make something pretty cool out of just that little section um, and this here is all willow i think this is all going to be for firewood so when i have time i'll cut it all down and over here we have willow which i'm going to turn into slabs because some of these are pretty big willow is quite a good wood to work with um, but it does go a bit fuzzy so you really have to dry it out it's a very wet wood so I'm gonna slab it I'm gonna stack it and it will probably be ready in two years <laughs> but it will make a wonderful piece of furniture so uh, that's the plan it's all about the long game here They're just walking down the driveway now, and you can see this is our bridge. There was a very large mulberry tree up here, walnut tree here, plum tree over there. But as you can see, there are some pair, uh, repairs that need doing here. So uh, we're probably going to be without a bridge for a week or so. You can see here, 
where there's been sort of a landslide. Um, my worry is the trees are kind of what were holding it together, but they do have a plan for this. So from where I just walked up here, they're going to be taking all of this away and redoing it out of uh, concrete, maybe some asphalt over the top. They're going to be rebuilding this entire bridge and doing guardrails, which is really, really nice. Um, and our entrance to the driveway is going to be much safer. Um, our wonderful neighbour, Plumman, who I speak with in German, uh, lives just there. He has been on at them while they're here saying, they have a baby, you need to make this safe, you need to do it properly. And he's really uh, whipping them into gear for us. So all of the work that's been going on, the guys have been fantastic. Obviously they're here doing their job and, and normally they'd be great. But uh, I think they're putting in a bit of extra work, extra time, because we have the baby here and they're trying to get everything done nice and quick. And you can probably see behind me, our driveway used to have a, an arch of trees over the top. They've actually stripped all of that back for us. And there's actually a fence just here, which was put up by the previous owner of our house. Now, our property is there where the wall is. After this wall, this is kind of no man's land. So they have said to us that we can remove this fence and cut the trees back even further. So we actually have a wider driveway. Um, you know, if we had a big four by four, it might be a bit of a struggle. But um, yeah, now they've cleared it, it seems so much better, so much easier. And they also trimmed back our wonderful linden tree, basswood here. So I've got a few branches on the floor, a few things that I need to go through. Um, probably not worth planking it out or slabbing it out. It's kind of thin, so this this will probably just be made for, for handles, things like that. Maybe I can turn them into blanks for wood turners. So if any of you are here and you are wood turners, I'm going to be drying a load of this stuff and, and I'll turn it into blanks. Get in touch. And here are two of the best pieces of the mulberry. This is the, the crotch here, which I've managed to get. Hello, dog. There's a bit of a burl on this side. So this is going to be slabbed over this way or this way to make uh, biscuits. I imagine it's probably going to be slabbed that way because I'll get a better grain. And this piece over here, unfortunately it's been cut at a really weird angle, so that top piece is just waste. Um, but I'll probably turn these into biscuits as well. Maybe sort of uh, serving platters, that kind of stuff. Hello! It's cold today! It's like, I don't know. It's really cold, considering it was like still 30s, isn't it? You might be able to hear that noise. We've got Daddy doing some uh, chainsaw prep. Friday morning. How's it going, guys? Where are we going to go? What? Cows. Yeah, we're going to go and take a little drive up the road, just to the next village, um, where the dairy farmer has got his cows. You love seeing the cows, don't you? <laughs> We're gonna see bits of cows. Probably before they go to the abattoir, but he doesn't understand that yet, so that's good. So, mate, unfortunately, the cows aren't in the field they were in the other day. The electric fence appears to be down. I'm not sure if he's just moved them somewhere else, so we're gonna go for a little drive. And look around, I mean, he's got so much land around here that he moves them from one patch to the other. Uh, and sometimes they're just let to roam free, so we actually get them. We're, we're four kilometers away from here, and we've actually had them outside the house before. So they really do roam properly. So this is where they normally are. It's, uh, let me spin it round. It's an absolutely stunning place near us. This would make an incredible campsite. It really would. It'd be amazing. And just at the bottom of this valley, there's a huge river. This is where we go swimming and all that kind of jazz. It's uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful spot here. Now, a little note about this dairy farmer. Uh, we don't actually know him personally, but he will deliver, I think it's twice a week, into our village, a Tuesday and a Thursday, I think, maybe a Friday. 
um, and it's two and a half litres of unpasteurised milk so you get all the cream and all that sort of stuff um, and he charges three lev so you can make your own cheese you can make your own yogurt all that kind of stuff for three lev it's uh, it's brilliant so no cows but he did fall asleep so it's a semi win So this is a lovely chunk of live edge oak that I've been working on for a little while here and there wherever I can. It's uh I'll turn it over. Oh it's heavy. So it looked like this before. And what I've done is I've flattened out a few of the sections using a router sled. So this is actually the bottom. Um, so I've still got a few cut marks here. So I'm gonna have to go down maybe another few millimeters just to flatten this whole section out then I can flip it over lovely and flat and then I can flatten this side and this will make part of a table now, I don't know how many people are interested in that kind of stuff but I'm going to make what they call like a, a river table but without epoxy because epoxy is just plastic and I don't want to create more plastic than I need to it's also very expensive <laughs> so this is going to be like a, a a live edge slab table without the epoxy with a with a gap down the middle so there'll be another one of these here there'll be a, a gap down the middle a river so yeah that should be really cool I've got uh, uh, what's that? I've got four meters up there which has been drying for years and I've got two slabs over there as well. Now one of these slabs has actually been promised to um, to one of our subscribers, Natalie. So I'm, I'm going to be doing something very similar for her, but it's going to be, um, I don't know, call it like a hall table, I suppose. Um, so it'll essentially just be one of these slabs flattened out uh, with four legs, pretty much. It's going to be absolutely stunning. She's, uh, she's our top Patreon supporter. So uh, instead of making a birdhouse, which is what we do for the higher tier people, I decided to go a little bit further. Um, she's, fingers crossed, hopefully going to be moving over to Bulgaria. And I said that I'll make her a piece of furniture to go in her home. So uh, yeah, get on the Patreon and maybe I can make you a piece of furniture too. Oh, lovely and warm. New fireplace. Beautiful. So we're at the other garden today. It's so sunny, it's lovely. Now, bear in mind we're now wood burners on in the evening and the mornings because it's so cold, but now I'm down to a vest, it's sunshine again. So we've come to the other garden because Lee wants to empty the pool. Um, what he's done is he's left it for six weeks so that any of the chlorine that was in it has now sort of dissipated or what would you call it evaporated and, uh, and now we're sort of draining off the pool into the field next door so that water won't be kind of poisonous in any way and we're just pottering about with some water in the sunshine aren't we Hudson? Good. What is it, Hudson? A frog. A frog. Teeny tiny. Well, actually, it's quite a big tree frog. Ooh, it's moving. It's a frog. A frog. Yeah. A frog. A frog. No, we're going to leave him there. He needs to warm up in the sunshine. We'll leave him in the sun. We've also come to this house because I want, I'm desperate for some clothes storage. We're having to dig out, get out all the winter stuff now. And I just don't have anywhere to put it. And I'm really sick of living out of bags. I want everything in a drawer, you know? So we're gonna see if there's any units here. They might need a bit of a clean or a fix up, but 
We're going to see if there's anything here we can reuse rather than having to buy something. So we've just dug out this unit from the other house. It's nothing pretty. It's not real wood, I don't think. Oh, outer part real wood, but it's got a chipboard top. And chipboard panels in the middle. But anyway, Lee's going to transform it into something magical. So we've got a bit of extra clothes storage for the house. So, uh, I'm not sure they can hear you. <laughs> Lee said he doesn't know if it's going to be magical, but it's going to have a sand. Oh, yeah. Do your magic. He's all red cheeked today. You're all red cheeked, aren't you? Daddy, yeah, he wants to go and see what Daddy's doing. He's doing all the sanding. Look. He's working really hard, Hudson. Let's go and see how he's getting on. So, hello. How are you getting on with the, your uh, magic? Well, it's not really magic, but I've discovered that all of the solid bits of woods are beach. Huh. I love beach. Cool. I don't know why anyone would stain it, <coughs> paint it, do anything other than leave it as is. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's a really lovely wood. And the panels on the inside are, are beach ply, but I really like this little accent. So I've just sort of made this look a bit worn. Yeah, it looks a bit shabby shriek. Kind of, but, it, but it's actually real. It's missing a drawer because Hudson dropped it. <laughs> so Daddy's got to glue a bit back together again. But we've got these little legs, little metal legs. So we've raised it up. It's going to look good, isn't it? Haven't you done a good job? I just hate the top. It's, it's not even a veneer. It's just chipboard. Oh, right. But everything else is beach. Yeah. So why is the top so shoddy? Yeah. The one bit that people touch all the time, you know? Like yeah, you yeah. that to be the good bit. Sure. Um, they really don't know what to do with that, but it's just for my pants, so... <laughs> we didn't really have to do anything, we just had to clean it. But, but yeah, it looks alright. I think it looks very good. 